Okay, in this question, we're asked to ask the user whether they want to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit or Fahrenheit to Celsius. So first, we need to create a variable called choice, and we use input to ask the question, and then we ask them if they want to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit, well, to Celsius or to Fahrenheit. Then we can use an if statement for that. So if the choice is equal to Fahrenheit, so if they picked Fahrenheit, so then we put a colon, then what we need to do is we need to use a formula to convert from Celsius to Fahrenheit. But firstly, we need to ask them to enter the temperature in Celsius. So temperature equals float. So temperature is a variable, float is the data type because it could be a decimal number. Then we use input to ask the question and then we ask them to enter the temperature in Celsius. Then we need to use the formula right at the top. So the, the formula right at the top, so y f, so y represent the temperature, and then so the temperature in Fahrenheit, put x degrees Celsius. So x degrees Celsius is the temperature that the user just entered in Celsius. And then times 9 divided by 5, we close the bracket or the parentheses, and then we add 32 to it. So this formula will convert the temperature from Celsius to Fahrenheit. Then we need to display it on the screen. So we say the temperature in Fahrenheit is, and then comma formula. So we use the comma to concatenate between the string and the variable. So if they didn't pick Fahrenheit, then they should have picked Celsius. So we would assume they entered Celsius instead. Um, you can use L if statement to say L if choice is equal to Celsius, um, and then else wrong choice. You can do that. That's fine. But in this case, I'm just going to use else. We need to have asked them for a temperature again. So temperature equals float again. So because it's also a temperature, which would be a decimal number, and then input to ask the question, and then enter temperature in Fahrenheit. So we're going to convert it this time from Fahrenheit to Celsius. So to do that, we use the second formula down. Now the second formula down uses temperature minus 32 times 5 divided by 9. And then we just print out the answer.